today's journaling session, I wanted to show you this box of goodies that I got in the mail this weekend. And this came all the way from Germany from one of my journaling buddies. Her name is Anna and she has a stationery shop called Kuroku. And she reached out to me, um, we chatted a little bit before and she wanted to send me some happy mail. And I said, of course, stationery is my jam. We've talked about stationery. We've connected um, on Instagram over a lot of different things besides journaling as well. So I'm so glad to receive this from Anna. Thank you, Anna, so much. You are just the sweetest person ever. And I thought it'd be fun to do my weekly bullet journal spread using some of the things from the package that I got. So let's just take a quick look at what's inside, shall we? I've already opened this, but I thought I'd do a miniature pseudo unboxing for you. So this is a really sweet handwritten note from Anna. She's so, 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 so sweet. Definitely give her a um, follow on Instagram on both her journaling account, which she makes really beautiful spreads, and also the Kuroku stationery page in Germany. They ship worldwide, by the way, so I just wanted to point that out. She jam-packed this box with all these stickers and stamps, so this is like little candy stickers, which is so sweet, literally. And then we've got some, this is really cool. These are like shape stickers. I'll open some of them, some of the ones that I want to use in today's spread. I just love the simplicity of these and the colors are so perfect. I'm really into the muted palette lately. Awesome. I think I'm definitely going to use some of these for my spread today. So I'll set this aside on this side. Anything I don't think I'll use, I'll set on this side. So the next thing we've got are these panda stickers. They're so adorable. And if you can see the paper here, it's like textured. So I think I'm going to do my spread around pandas today and I'm gonna set these aside. They're so cute. I'm also gonna use these, which are panda clear stamps. Y'all know I love clear stamps and wooden stamps and everything stamps. So I'm gonna set these aside as well. Here are some post-its that have food on them. They're so cute. The illustrations are very simple and um, effective. Love it. And then Anna knows I love my dogs, so she stuck some Corgi or uh, Shiba Inu stickers in here. Not Corgi. Sorry, Ziva's a Corgi, so half Corgi anyway. So um, I really appreciate these. I can't wait to use these um, just pretty much everywhere. <laughs> so cute. And then these are really adorable hamster stickers. Really adorable. They're made specifically to fit in calendars, so that's nice. And these are fun. They're like watercolor style weather stickers, die cuts, so that's really fun. And then this is a labeling pack of stickers. I think this will come in really handy. So we've got lots of encouraging phrases on here too. Like you're getting better and better. Everything is gonna be all right. This is really sweet. I like that. And that is, I think might use this, some of these in my spread. Not sure what this is. Circular ones and oval ones. I like this color. <laughs> These are kiss cut. Okay. Very cute. These are handy. Some letters and numbers. Wow. These are really pretty colors as well. Very much my palette, I think. I've got small letters, rulers, circular numbers, a different style, and then, ooh. Look at these. They're super tiny and they're clear. Wow, this is super handy. I feel like this pack will last me a long time too because there's so many sheets in here. Oh man, these are so funny. Look at these numbers. So these numbers are dogs. 
<laughs> so there's stamps and the stamping part is down here. So I'm gonna have to assemble these with some glue later on before I use them. But these are so fun. I think that it's, uh, let's see, six, seven, eight. Definitely for like a dog lover. And then she's also stuck in some postcards from Kuroku. So there's this traveler's one. So adorable. I'm definitely going to send these off to some friends. Kuroku stationery postcard. Love it. And this is the business card. So definitely check out Kuroku and they specialize in Japanese stationery which you know I love and here is the address so if you're near here definitely stop by but of course they also are online um, check out their hashtags so I love supporting small businesses and Anna is just so great and so sweet so definitely definitely check this out and then here we've got a little is this a postcard I think it might be one of those interesting shaped postcards little things for a happy life love it all right so i'm all organized and set up for my spread and i just wanted to flip through last week this is the spread that i did in my previous journal with me video and as you can see i've filled in a little bit more tasks on my weekly overview throughout the week and then i did my daily log in the video last time and then throughout the week, I just kind of made my daily logs. As you can see, minimal, no decoration. I just focused on what I needed to do. And here, what I love about the blank pages, of course, is that I can like use as much space as I need. On Tuesday and Wednesday, I used a lot of space. On Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I used about half a page for each daily log. And then I'm ready now to do this week. So as usual, I'm just going to create pencil lines using my mechanical pencil here. By the way, all of my supplies will be listed in the video description below. So what I've done is created seven spaces for seven days of the week. And there are pretty much, uh, let's see, over here is one, two, three, four spaces over. And then there's one, two, three, four, five uh, spaces tall for each box. Next, I'm going to use my stamps. In my last bullet journal video, someone asked me why I stamp these out instead of writing it because, you know, my handwriting is pretty consistent and I do like my handwriting. Um, the answer is I just really like the look of stamps. I like how, you know, some of the areas are faded and it just looks like there's a typewriter in my book. And so I just think that mixing and matching different mediums is kind of my style and that's why I use stamps. It also looks consistent from week to week and I know you're gonna say hey your handwriting is really consistent um, so you could probably make it look consistent but I think it's just the combination of having like stamps and collage and stickers maybe occasionally drawing or some ink in there some ink splashes I feel like that is so fun to do and I just like having that stamped look on some parts of my spread. Now I'm writing the weekly overview and the days of the week. I decided to use Prismacolor colored pencil today in this specific shade because that's going to match the elements that I'm going to use for my decorations this week. And then I'm writing out uh, my weekly tasks and I got a question about whether or not I'm doing a monthly overview nowadays and I don't really find that the monthly calendar that I used to do for my bullet journal is very useful to me anymore so um, I used to make a calendar that was back when I was using a uh, A5 notebook and I had more room there even so I still didn't really use it I'm more of a short-term planner and if I do have to use a long-term um, calendar like say I have appointments throughout the month or things like that I just pop that onto another calendar or onto my phone usually when I'm scheduling things I'm out and about anyway and then I will put that in my 
um, week. I kind of am, you know, really short term. That's why I find the daily logs to be so useful. I like to either plan it the night before or early in the morning. Yeah, let me know what you think about monthly logs. I'm really curious. I feel like if I needed to do something with the month on a month to month basis, I'd make a collection or something like that. So I'd love to know what you do. Do you find monthlies useful? And if so, you know, how do you find enough space if you make a calendar or do you like do the classic bullet journal setup where it's a list? Because I just don't find that there's enough space to really do future planning effectively or I just like don't think that far ahead. <laughs> Let me know. All right, now for the fun part, I've got the scrapbook paper and the stickers that I showed you earlier all ready to go. I've also pulled some of my own stickers from the past. So I've got stickers that I've designed, some scrap papers, and some washi tape that I've selected. So I've got these kind of like neutral colors that I'm gonna combine with this um, shade here. And I think it's gonna be really cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and play around. Oh, yes. I think this is a bus ticket or something like that. And these are part of the sticker pack that I got of vintage ephemera and stuff from um, AliExpress. So I really just love how that matches. And I'm going to kind of just arrange the rest of the elements before I start putting them down. I don't know, I really love this one, how it's just plopped out like that. So I think I'm gonna use that one. That's really cute. And I'm gonna use the bamboo for a couple of different accents here and there as well. I'm not sure where to put it yet, so I'll just leave that on the block, this acrylic block here. I just feel like that's really fun. And it's just all about layering at this point and just playing around, seeing what works. I love vintage stuff, but I this is so kawaii. It's so adorable, so cute. And I don't mind mixing and matching those two styles, like whether it's vintage or adorable. I feel like for me, the cohesiveness of this spread is gonna be more like the colors. The process for collaging is just really all about experimentation and fun. And sometimes it turns out the way I want it to, other times, I have to reposition things and it still doesn't look quite cohesive, but what matters is that I'm kind of just taking my time to have a moment um, and just taking a breath, taking a beat. And as I was thinking about like pandas and just taking my time, I thought I would just use this quote that's on the uh, Kuroku postcard here make time for moments, everything else can wait. And I thought that it would be nice to have that in a nice script on the side next to the pandas. So this is the Prismacolor Premier. So it's really soft. And, and of course, when you press down on down harder, it leaves a thicker, darker line. And then when you don't press as hard on the upstrokes, it kind of leaves a nice faint line. So I'm gonna just experiment with doing some pencil calligraphy, going back to basics. I also picked up my fountain pen that has the Lady Rose ink in it. I thought it went really well with some of the pops of color on the stickers that I chose. And I just wrote a couple of things here and there about 
taking your time to really do good quality work, um, allowing yourself the space and time to process things instead of, you know, kind of being in a rush to get your goals done. So that is kind of like what I like to do with my empty spaces. I just like to fill it in with some writing, some thoughts for the week. I didn't leave a lot of room to do my daily logs on this page, so I decided that for today, I am going to write down the projects that I want to work on this week, including YouTube videos and some shop updates. I am really excited about some of the ideas that I have. Of course, like I mentioned before, I let my creative business go on hold for a little bit. And now that I'm all inspired, I want to really take that energy to revamp some of the items in my shop. I'm going to retire some things that don't align with my current artistic vision anymore. And then I'm also going to release new things all in good time. I'm going to really make sure there are things that not only does it kind of match my new aesthetic, but that they also are things that I want to use in my spreads. And so some of those things that I have in my shop, they are not coming back. So if you want to take a look at them, um, I haven't restocked any of my inventory for a really long time because I knew I just wanted to kind of shut the book on those. And I think I like doing a little project summary page on my weekly spread. That is a good overview of the things I want to work on. And I will do my daily logs, of course, on the pages after instead. All right, that is it for my bullet journaling weekly video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you also have a very productive week, but don't forget to take a beat, take a moment for yourself, breathe and um, make time to just be, be and exist, you know? I know we all can get caught up in the hustle and the grind. I mean, especially when things are chaotic. Definitely want to pass on some calming vibes to you all. And until the next video, have a great time. Happy journaling. I'll see you next time. Bye.